I've seen a lot of cope over various shows from the creative staff behind it, but this one really takes the cake right here. The Witcher producer puts Geralt on the level of Batman, Superman, and James Bond, and you gotta check out why. The Witcher executive producer says recasting Geralt was inevitable as the character has reached the level of Batman, Superman, and James Bond. Now, that's not why they recast him, but I'll get more into that a little bit because right now this just screams of cope right here from the executive producer of the show. So, Tomek Baginski thinks The Witcher stands alongside Superman, Batman, and James Bond in terms of pop culture influence, highlighting decisions which comes with the territory. Okay. I will say there is a lot of influence with The Witcher because, I mean, it has the books, it ha now has the TV show, it has the video games, but, I mean, it's nowhere near the level of pop culture influence as Batman, Superman, James Bond. I mean, I can ask my elderly parents if they heard of uh, those three characters and yeah they know who they are because those characters are prominent when they were kids you ask the witcher it's like do you know who Geralt of Rivia is like no they they don't know who that is they don't know what the witcher is you'd have to explain it to them so they try to say it's on the same level of pop culture influence is just dishonest right there it's not even delusional like I said it's just dishonest with this but even then when you recast things like James Bond, a lot of the times because the movies are basically a soft reboot. I mean, yeah, they continue the James Bond and you can kind of try to tie a story together, but they're ultimately their own reimaginings of the same Ian Fleming stories. And that's why they can recast the character and have different versions of them. That's not what they're doing here. They're just recasting the character, which that's fine if you want to do that. I mean, other studios have done that. I mean, Marvel famously did that uh, recasting uh, Don Cheadle in place of Terrence Howard for the role of Brody after the first Iron Man movie. But even then, that's not what they're trying to say that they're doing. I mean, they never said like, oh, Brody was reached the level of James Bond, so we got to recast him because that's just stupid. And I'm surprised that he even has to go to try to explain this excuse. Uh, so he goes on to say that he was on vacation after shooting season three of this and he didn't know about it until uh, like a few days before the announcement that Henry Cavill was leaving. And he says he doesn't want to go into reasons of why he thinks it happens. But everyone who's been paying attention actually knows why it happens. Ultimately, Henry Cavill wanted to respect the source material and the show didn't. And we even got this other article recently talking about this same producer right here saying that, oh yeah, they had to dumb down the show because American audiences can't follow complex plots and stuff like that, which is really a terrible way to try to defend your show. It's saying like, well, people are just too stupid to get it. So we had to make it stupid for them. <laughs> I mean, despite the fact that a lot of the criticism with the show was simply people upset that they were deviating from the source material and ultimately dumbing it down. I mean, you can't say people want it to be more dumbed down when that was their criticism of the show in all honesty it's probably likely that the producers and the writers of the show were just too dumb to get the source material so they were trying to write it how they understood it and it didn't work and general audiences picked up on it but now we also got this article that came out from fandom wire uh, so the witcher boss seemingly fuels henry cavill's toxic onset behavior following liam hemsworth recast and that's a story that we heard from the get-go that they were trying to say once Henry Cavill was leaving is like oh he was toxic on set and uh, he was difficult to work with despite the fact that the cast and uh, the crew members uh, not the creatives like the producers and writer but other crew members were saying like oh no Henry Cavill was great to work with we liked having someone on set who understood the lore and understood the character and someone that you can reference it's always uh, helpful as actors and stuff like that to have someone like that to kind of pull from uh, right there on the set and someone who actually loves the source material and wants to be faithful to it but the thing is that's not what the writers and the producers wanted to do with the show they didn't want to be faithful to the source material they wanted to try to make their own thing and I can't understand to an extent what they were trying to do because Netflix ultimately wanted to have their Game of Thrones and one thing about Game of Thrones is it's an ensemble cast, whereas The Witcher, it's more or less focused on Geralt here. And the producers were trying to obviously deviate from that greatly by uh, trying to focus on other characters and ultimately push Geralt into the background. And Henry Cavill, you can tell in other interviews that he was kind of... Um, lukewarm about the idea but he was still trying to be professional but i mean i guess after a point he was like we can't do this anymore where it's like i'm trying to be faithful to the source material and you're wanting to change everything up and i think that's why they wanted to get rid of him and once they saw all the backlash it, this is what happens with it you get this backlash and now they're trying to understand or trying to justify the mistake that they made with casting henry cavill and that's why with season three since it was announced before the season started that he was leaving they're trying to market the whole movie on or not the movie the whole show 
on the fact that no, he's still in it or whatever. This is his great send off or season and stuff like that. So you better check it out. And people just didn't watch it because even then, like people were done with it. And I think a lot of this is just backlash for Henry Cavill leaving, but there is a lot of legitimate criticism just because of the fact the show is not good anymore. And people just don't like it because they've deviated so far from the source material. Now, season four and five, I guess, are already greenlit. Whether they're actually going to make those remain to be seen. I mean, I've heard that they're put on hold indefinitely, which means they don't know an exact date when it's going to happen. It's different than being outright canceled, but I mean, it's possible that it will be canceled after season three because they saw how bad this performed and maybe they just don't want to devote the money to it. But if they do continue with season four, I would expect to see it something similar to Witcher Blood Origin because this is basically the writers doing something original, not following any source material, not having anyone on the set who actually is trying to push for them to be faithful to the lore of the Witcher universe. So this is what you're going to get with season four. If they do make a season four, let me know what you think. Do you think that there's going to be a season four of the Witcher or not? And if not, uh, let me know why you think why. And if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.